Hello and welcome to this edition of Reporters. Thailand's sex industry is well known, but rarely advertised in tourist brochures. Yet every year, as many as a million visitors come not just for the country's culture and beaches, but to indulge their passions too. And in fact, for an industry that was first introduced during the Vietnam War, business is still booming. The sex trade now accounts for 14% of Thailand's economy. But in a country that caters for all tastes, there is a side that is more difficult to deal with. Every year, some 80,000 people are trafficked, including at least 10,000 minors. Here, our correspondents travel to the very heart of sex tourism. Pattaya is unique. Of the six million inhabitants, a third are foreigners. Even the police recruit foreigners. Is it busy tonight? No, no, it's okay. There's 20,000 people in the street, but there's no problem. The same thing in France. We would have 10 trucks of riot police to stand by. In Padilla, everything can be found. From techno discos to massage parlors with extra services to brothels with Russian women. There's something for everyone's taste, for everyone's budget. We have an appointment with the owner of a famous massage parlor, a Westerner who discovered Pattaya many years ago. Julian decided to settle here, a major change from Belgium, where he was a priest. Is it possible to have faith in a town like Pattaya? I'm a believer in my heart and in my thoughts, but I don't take orders from the Vatican anymore. Julian is a famous man of Pattaya's nightlife scene. The notable businessman has invited us to his villa on the outskirts of town. I was offered this chalice when I was ordained as a priest. Then the former priest confides to us the other side of his business. My place is a massage spa. It's not a brothel. Sometimes, yes, though, sex happens. We have to know how to please the customer. When he's old, for example, we have to take good care of him, of his bottom. Doing it like that is good. It's a service. Padilla used to be a small fishing village. But the Vietnam War and the need for rest and recovery trips for American GIs changed everything. The roots of the modern and globalized sex trade were planted. And on this day, American soldiers are back in town on a military exercise, but not only. Are you going to play golf too? Oh yeah, I never go anywhere without my golf clubs. And you have some time out? But yeah, is famous for that. Oh yes. I'm here, well, I'm, I'm here all the time, so. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay, thank you very much. Right. 712. The first sex tourists were Vietnam War veterans coming back to Asia. Easy love, cheap, beautiful girls, sun, paradise, and an endless supply of women. A new phenomenon began. This young Thai businessman has agreed to come with us to Pattaya's beachfront. Usually, he does everything to avoid it. Make love in my room. Can oh my god! Yeah. I believe uh, if they have the way or here, we have the choice, have the good job. I think they are don't do that. They do because really need the money. For me, if I see this, make I sick, uh, make me tired. <laughs> please, if I can say or if I can tell the people, please, this is Thailand, your holiday and. Keep something nice for Thai people or for young people to see. 